Hello everyone and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. In the last session, vibes were down and so I took I took a bit, a bit of a break. It has been uh, about a week since I last played, uh, but I was recording ahead so obviously they were still going up daily. But yeah, it's been about a week, week since I last played. I've had a bit of a mental reset and uh, hopefully vibes will be up now. And uh, I've got a new new goal, which I am going to try and hit today, which is to get through the the double keyed grate. So I was under the impression that the blue barrel thing, the water barrel, only spawned inside the fireplace room. That is not the case, apparently. Apparently it can spawn in any room on the floor and you can, like, bring it with you. Uh, so that is that is my goal for today. I'm not trying to get particularly far. I want to get to the double key room. And uh, we will see, we will see how that goes. That is the plan. Not going to put shitloads of pressure on myself. Not going to tell myself I should be getting to the fifth floor with no issues. Because I have got there once before. We're just going to be chill. And trying to discover this new thing. Nice. Gimme, gimme. Oh, here it is. So, how exactly does one go about moving this thing? I see. Oh, it's being blocked. Okay. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. So I just need to find the fireplace room now. Cool, okay. Okay. It's a good start. That's what we like to see. Uh, and here it is, in fact. Oh, there's more. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Right, okay, so... Let's do this thing. Man, <laughs> I really wish I'd realized that, uh... Oh, goddammit. I wish I'd realized that these, uh, could spawn on any floor. Nope, that's not. I keep thinking I have to press A to stop it. I don't. I just walk in front of it. That would have been, uh, that would have been good to know when I was trying to figure this shit out ages ago, but hey. We got there in the end. Is that too high, or can that go through? I don't know, that's too high. Oh, it can bounce off the wall. I can just stand here, and then... Nice. Didn't realize it would bounce back up at me. Okay. Good. So somewhere... Does it show on the map? Um, no, because I haven't unlocked wherever it is yet. So somewhere a door has now opened. Okay. And I need a second key... So, uh, does that mean I shouldn't use... I guess I shouldn't use the key on this, then? Because I need two keys to get through there? Hmm. I guess so. I guess... No, no key usage allowed.
Okay. I don't think we've taken a hit yet, have we? That's good. Almost jinxed myself. down here. Jesus. Oh boy, another review. This 4-1 feels bigger than usual. It's probably just in my head, but <laughs> for some reason, it feels like it's a larger 4 than I'm used to. I don't know. I don't know. You have a second key for me, which is good. We have to buy that. Probably. Unless we get a drop. We should buy it anyway, because even if we do get a drop, we could then open that green chest. Uh, let's go down. I'm guessing this... I don't think it can go any further down. I'm guessing this is going to be a chest room. No, never mind. It can go even further down. This is just such a long... Uh, a long floor what? It just keeps going down and down and down. I'm surprised. Like, I feel like we haven't had a floor one that goes that vertical before. Okay, here's this. We still haven't found- oh, it's a Mimic. Do I want to take on a Mimic with the starter gun? Maybe I can get a better gun before we take that on. Maybe I can find a better gun. Although, guns only come from chests, and I'm not going to be opening any chests. So, actually, I'm not going to get a better gun, am I? Now that I think about it. Now that I think about it, I realise I'm not going to be able to get a better gun. Wait. Where's the secret room? Am I fucking blind? What have I missed? Huh? I'm very confused. I put out the fireplace. Did I, did I do something differently last time? Is there something I have to do in the fireplace? Where was the fireplace? I thought it was here. Is that down here? Oh, it's down here. Oh, I have to click. Okay, I see, I see. I didn't realize I had to click inside the fireplace. Um, okay, well, let's go break the mimic and maybe we'll get a gun. Oh, I got stuck on the fucking corner. God damn it. Cursed bullets. What, pray tell, are cursed bullets? Uh, curse increases damage. Bullets straight from hell. Okay. I don't know what curse is. Hmm. Unsure. Unsure. Uh, okay. Is there anything else? There's no more keys to be had. So I don't get a gun. So I may as well break you. Whoa, lag. Hello. There we go. It was 
nothing. Okay. Let us see what is through the hatch. Trash cannon unlocked. The oubliette. Okay, it's a new it's a new floor. With <laughs> with dying bullets on it. Okay. Uh <laughs> Right. Sure. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, it's a hard floor. It's it's a fucking hard floor. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, what is going on here? Wait, why is my gun firing? My gun's firing, like, blue bullets, purple bullets now? Purple or blue? Either way, what's going on? I am not sure. Okay, these rooms are a significant step up from floor one, for sure. Harder than regular floor two, I think? I wonder if you go from here to floor three, if this is a replacement from for floor two. Whoa! <laughs> Just call me Neo up in this bitch! Just call me Neo up in this bitch! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious me. God damn it. Oh, this is fucked. Oh, hello, Bosky. Oh! Oh, that's oil. Oh. I wasn't sure what exactly that was denoting. Okay, we got a boss door key. Speaking of bosses, huh, I just thought, I wonder if I should have gone and fought the first floor boss first before coming here, because... When you beat the boss, you can still go back out. So I guess the smart play, so long as I did well at the boss, obviously, would be to go fight the boss, take no damage, get an extra part from it, hopefully, get whatever guns and shit it drops, and then come down here. I didn't think of that. But I guess I'll know for future. I wonder what the boss of this floor will be, actually. Will it be... It depends if this is a replacement floor 2, or if we go into floor 2 after this. Because if it's- oh my god, this is- this is insane. Fuck. Because if it's a replacement floor 2... Oh my god. <laughs> this is insane! Basically, it's do they need to keep the floor two bosses for the next floor because we're going to floor two next, like normal, or is it a replacement for floor two so they can put the floor two bosses in here because they won't be used in this run because we went here instead of normal floor two, I guess, is the question. Did I really just fucking take that? God damn it. What? I missed time to roll that badly.
Oh my god. I was trying to dodge the one coming up from below. Well, I'm down to my final hit. I don't think we're even making it to the boss. This is so significantly harder than regular Floor 2. It's wild. The jump is crazy, especially considering you have to not get a gun to come here. Because you can't use your keys on chests because you need to use your keys to open this fucking thing up. Kinda crazy. What? Where did that come from? Okay. I don't know if it's worth coming here. <laughs> like, it's cool that it exists, I guess, but it's so much harder than Floor 2 that I'm not sure it's really worth doing. I would like to see what the boss is, though, so I guess we got to go back there one more time, but I think normally I wouldn't go there. It seems like it's just going to mean you're going into Floor 3 or regular Floor 2, whichever it ends up being, with half your health left because <laughs> you're going to have lost it all in there. So I think usually going there is going to be a bad idea. But I will go there just to see what, what the boss is and stuff. Uh, okay, you are selling a key. Good, good. Might as well just break it now. Because there's a blue chest over there, so if I'm opening anything, it would be that one. I'm not going to be getting four keys, so I'll never open the brown one. Oh. Oh my god! It's a fucking Christmas miracle. The blue barrel spawned in the fireplace room. They said it couldn't be done. They said he was mad. And yet, here it is. King shit. Okay. Oh, lovely. Freaky. Okay, okay. Well, that means we can hopefully buy the one in the shop and open the blue chest and maybe get a gun then. Teleporter in here. Boo. Boo. Oh. Someone said there is a option to increase speed out of combat. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like that. Very handy. Take some getting used to. Oh, what the fuck am I? Hello? It wasn't letting me get around the corner. I was holding down and it was just like sticking me to it. That was fucking stupid.
I was holding down here, but I was just like getting stuck on like an invisible bit of the corner. That was really weird. Another blue chest. Uh, is that everything? Yeah, this feels like a much smaller first floor than the previous one. Okay, so we buy the key. We open... I wonder if there's a difference between, like, your chances of getting good drops from a chest that, like, appeared after you cleared a room like this one compared to a chest that is in a contained room like the other one. Never seen that before. Teapot. What is the teapot? Not a gun is what it is. Ignites nearby enemies while reloading? That's amazing. That's actually really good. Fire damage is pretty strong. I like that. Oh. Oh. I'm a fucking idiot. Never mind. I thought for some reason... I literally... God damn it. <laughs> I literally went over to it. And in my head I was reading a passive item. I was like, oh, this passive item, whenever I reload, it ignites nearby enemies. That's so sick. <laughs> it's not. It's a fucking gun. Right, I don't know if it's a good gun. <laughs> it feels like it might not be a good gun. Let's see if it does any damage to the boss. It's the Gatling Girl. It's been so long since we've seen the Gatling Girl. I think it's a shit weapon. It doesn't seem to be doing fuck all to the boss. God damn it. I got stuck on the fucking wall. I thought I was further to the left. I thought I could just go down to avoid it. Okay, well. I think we just re- Oh, no. I want to- I want to explore the second floor, but it's like I've lost so much health that I'm never going to get to the boss, so I don't know if it's worth- I don't know if it's worth continuing when I've got fucked. Can I get a good weapon? I keep getting these shit weapons. Get set on fire, bitch. Okay. Well, we got the gun that we literally just unlocked. Wait, it's single shot with only 50 bullets in it? What? Uh, an imp improvised gun that fires trash, sending poison in all directions. Oh. A threat to anyone in the room, including the wielder. Oh. But it becomes more powerful the more junk you're carrying. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've got two... Two junk thingies. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I was, I was feeling like I should just reset the run there because two hits means that we're probably not getting to the boss of this next incredibly difficult floor, so. What are you? Want to take a break and come back later? Oh. It's the fucking button that normally appears by the lift, I see. I see. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think we're going to be getting far here with uh, no health, but... Oh shit! Okay, that is... Okay, yeah, I can't use that. 
God damn it, I'm fucking trapped up in this corner. The splash damage on that is insane. Why did he not get set on fire? Hello? He was inside the circle. I hate this gun. I really hate this gun. It fires so slowly. Oh, I was trying to get him inside the circle. Fuck's sake. Yeah, that gun is absolutely awful. Fuck me, they put you in these tiny, tiny rooms with like a hundred enemies. It's kind of crazy. This is such an insane step up. That is an actually crazy step up. Like, they spawn you in these tight corners with fucking scattershot enemies right in front of you. Wild. God damn it. It fucking... Oh, that's some bullshit, man. Okay, never mind. We're turning this back off. The, the final enemy had died, so it increased my speed, which I wasn't expecting when the bullets were still all around me. So I tapped down to try and move out of the way of the bullets, but because it had increased my speed, because the enemy had died, I went way further than I was expecting and walked into the bullet. So I thought, I assumed that like bullets would have to be, you know, off the screen. They would have, the room would have to be fully resolved before, uh, before that could happen. What the fuck is this? Old crest? What? So, yeah, because that's not the case, that makes the movement speed up thing pretty worthless. A peculiar piece of armor. The crest of a strange religion. The edges are scuffed and worn as if it has been slid into, f into a frame several times. The crest depicts a great bullet falling from the sky surrounded by prostrate gun-dead figures. Sure. Oh, it's an armor piece. It's gone up next to my health. Right, okay. Well, I was on my final hit, so hooray, I guess. Uh, can I afford 36, 36? Oh my god, they've actually made this cheaper now. Because I got it from stealing before, I guess. Uh, I mean, uh, if I want to continue, I have to buy the heart, right? Like, there's no chance otherwise. Floors are an actual fucking nightmare, dude. Actual nightmare. I can't get over how much harder they are in comparison to the normal floor two. This is this is crazy. Oh, I was like, why would he let me pick it up? Mimic? No. No. Jesus, dude! Like, where the fuck? Hello, hunt complete. What? Visit Freifel and the Grey Mouser. What? Oh, that's the. Oh, that's the, uh. The kill the slimes thing, right? Oh, fuck off. Oh 
my goodness gracious me. Uh, a shrine to a forgotten bullet who laid down his arms. Will you? And then there's no option to do anything. Oh, is it asking me to give up a weapon? Aha, offer a gun, yes. At peace, live to gun another day. Is that something... I don't know what that does. Uh, could this be a secret? Yes, it could. Oh my god, I'm a fucking genius. Oh my god, I'm a... Oh! Now that. That is a fucking good reward. That is a fucking good reward. I just saw that and it looked too much like an obvious secret place. We love that. We absolutely fucking adore that. Yoink. Oh, it's another one of these. Do these do anything? They don't do anything, do they? Yeah, no. Not that right. Wow, wow. I would really like a usable weapon. That would be so cool. A usable weapon would just be peak, you know? Love to be able to fight. I'll save my last key just in case there's a better quality chest somewhere. Oh, this is cancerous. What the fuck? This is nasty. Okay, so I'd have to... You have to dive roll as the fire goes off. There's no other way to do it. There we go. Oh, that is rough. That is a nasty little jump that they make you make. I can stand in this without getting hurt, right? Yeah. It just can be set on fire, but if it's just as it is, then you're fine. Oh! I didn't know that was a thing. God damn it. This place is actually so evil. It's so evil. <laughs> the oubliette, was it called? This is some nasty ass shit, man. Insane levels of enemies, insane traps, insane everything. Okay, well we haven't found the boss, so I guess it must be over here. Not even at the boss yet, okay. just curve at the last second to hit me? Am I going insane? I swear I was not in the path of that. I think that actually curved to hit me at the last second. Motherfucker. Well, we're at the fucking boss, but I've got a singular fucking heart to my name, so... Not even a heart. A fucking half a heart, rather. Never mind. As I was saying. <laughs> I have... I have three hits to my name. Can I afford this? 36? Son of a... Well... 
I sure do love not having any weapons ever. I really, really enjoy that we are now at the second boss and still have not got an upgrade to the starting pistol. That's pretty cool. What is the boss? <laughs> what the fuck? It's a massive slime. Four-star general Blobulord. I mean, at least it's easy to fucking hit. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's got so much health, holy shit. What is happening? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. It's just reforming? Okay. It's got so much health, that's wild. Oh, come on. I had to dodge down to avoid it, but then it fucking... The way that pattern was made me get fucked. So you have such a tiny amount of time to dodge that. Just because of the way the pattern is. It's pretty fun. Whoa! <laughs> okay. I got stuck in the corner there. Luckily, it worked out. Am I safe to stand in this red stuff, by the way? I think so. I'm surprised at how easy this boss is, given how hard the fucking floor to get to it is. The only difficult part of this is it has a massive health ball. The only difficult part is, he says, as he fucking goes down to one hit of death and is probably about to die now. Absolute fucking bastard that you've just done this. Okay, come on. You're so close. Okay, we did it. The health ball is insane. Super spaced up. The health ball is insane, but... Wait. Hello? <laughs> okay. But, uh, what was I saying? The health ball is insane, but... The fact that I was using the starter gun is probably a large part of that, right? The Devolver. I think we liked this. We've had this before, haven't we? Or was that... I remember having a gun that is, was, like, devolving people. But then, didn't it just say... Go Wasn't it just a gold thing? If it's gold, it means I haven't had it before, but I thought I had had it before. Maybe it was a different thing that does the same, has the same effect or something? Uh, okay. It gets the other heart. So we're back up to two and a half now, plus an armor. So, the question is, does that split, skip, uh, floor two, or is that place. Is it, is, does it come between one and two, or does it replace two? Gungeon proper. Chamber two is still here.